Metro Home Magazine, and we're following the progress of a house that's being built in Boulder, Colorado, that's going for the gold standard according to the USGBC's Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design pilot program for residences. This house is so cool. It's going to be solar powered, it's going to be heated and cooled using geothermal, and we're here today to watch as they start drilling the geothermal wells. So let's take a look and see what's happening here. There's a new residence being built here. It's going to be part of the uh, LEAD uh, for Home pilot program. Uh, that's Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. And this, this home is going to strive for a gold and possibly a platinum rating in this LEAD program. Now in order to do that, uh, a lot of very energy efficient equipment has to be put into this house. And one of the things is geothermal heating in addition to a solar array on the roof. And, uh, very high performance glass and energy efficient lighting and a, and a whole range of energy efficiency measures that go into achieving the goal rating for the uh, What we're seeing right now is the very early stages of the process where we're putting in a geothermal heating system and the, the driller, this is the first step in the process, is drilling wells into the ground, 10 wells in total, uh, about 300 feet deep. So it's like putting a big radiator under the ground that's going to exchange heat with the earth from the house. Um, what's really great, one of the, the nice features about geothermal is that you actually use the earth as a thermal battery so that you can store the heat that you remove from the home while you're air conditioning into the ground for several months. You actually heat the ground up and then you use that heat in the winter to heat the home. One of the things about it is that it has one of the highest first costs of, of any residential system. Um, and that, that makes people shy away from it quite a bit. But the thing to, that's important to appreciate is it has the, uh, one of the, um, the lowest lifetime costs for the system. It becomes extremely efficient over a long period of time. So this home using geothermal will save about $1,500 a year uh, over what your uh, cost would be if you're going to keep them with natural gas using the purpose of the water system. That's about about $127 a month on average. Uh, that's for heating, for cooling, and producing about 56% of the domestic hot water. The energy savings uh, to be achieved by this home will be the uh, carbon equivalent of taking one or two American cars off the road. Uh, so it's going to be great to help us figure out a way that we can solve global warming. To follow the construction of this house, check out Robin's blog from the front porch at naturalhomemagazine.com.